Okay, removing the suction throttle valve on a 300ZX with automatic climate control, 9090 to 9093. Um, I made this video just so I could figure out how to do it myself, but I might as well let you guys know as well. So we need to remove the glove box, and we need to remove the garnish under the glove box. And what we're looking for is if your air conditioning system has a cold pipe on the evaporator but it's not blowing cold air you may have a stuck suction throttle valve uh, I actually blew up my uh, condenser on this car so I had to pull it all apart to find out what was going on uh, and of course mine was then degassed naturally so make sure that if you're gonna pull this apart you need to make sure you've pulled all the gas out of the system um, recover it in an environmentally friendly fashion uh, R12 systems have the suction throttle valve, anything after 93, R134A, uh, and with manual climate control won't have this, so you won't need to worry about it. But if you're like me and you have automatic climate control in a 1993 or, or older uh, 300ZX, you may have a suction throttle valve and it may be stuck. So let's see what we need to do. Alright, so I need to remove the feedback sensor in the evaporator box. That's this one here with the two screws. This will be able to tell you whether the evaporator is actually cold when the aircon is running or whether just the line is cold and the suction valve is stuck. That's the suction valve. You can see there covered in that black tar. If the evaporator isn't cold and the line is and you've got adequate gas, you've probably got a stuck valve. So with the battery removed here, you can see underneath this, this uh, wiring harness here, we've got the high and low pressure lines. Undo them nuts and you should be able to remove the lines. They're aluminium, you can bend them a little bit, but not too much. There's a plate with a 10 mil nut you can remove and there's a rubber boot. That boot is cut from factory, so you should be able to lift it up. I couldn't hear while I was holding the phone, but you should be able to lift it up. It's pre-cut, ready to go, uh, and that'll help you remove the evaporator later. Just remember that uh, you do want to degas the system properly before doing that. Uh, this piece of suede trim will need to be removed. You just pop the dash off and undo these bolts that I'm, I'm pointing out here. There's two on the side and one just underneath the center. The suede trim on the other side needs to be removed. There's three bolts to pull that out as well. And we can start removing the glove box frame uh, with these 10 mil uh, bolts, there's a lot of screws in there as well. You see as I go through uh, to remove that frame for the glove box, it's the only way to get at the evaporator box and the fan motor, which we'll need to remove as well. So the fan motor's got two 10 mil nuts at the bottom, and there's a sneaky bolt at the top. Um, you can probably see here. Uh, that needs to be removed. You can move the fan motor quite a bit. You'll have to unplug a few of the, the plugs and you can push it to the left about four inches. Uh, the evaporator is much the same. One bolt at the top and two nuts at the bottom, 10 mil nuts. It's exactly the same as the fan. And then you can rip it out. You can, you can basically pull it across and pull it out towards yourself. All right, so once you've got it out and you wanna disassemble the unit, remove this line, so 14 mil spanner there. Remove that, that little tube there and remove all the tar around the suction throttle valve. There's two screws that hold it on and an O-ring. They were very tight. I think they were locked tighted in. Um, the clip comes out. Uh, as you can see here, we just pry it out with a screwdriver. It's, it's not tight or anything. Just make sure you don't lose it. And the valve, depending on what it, it, it's like, uh, mine was actually very good to my surprise. Um, the valve just jumps out like that and there's a small spring behind it. Keep everything clean as you can. It should be oiled with the, the oil that's sealed within the uh, air conditioning system. Checks operation up and down and, uh, and make sure it's clean. If you, if you shine it up to the light, you should be able to see through it. There's a very fine gauze inside the valve. If that's not clean, you need to clean it out from contact cleaner or whatever you've got. Uh, that, that should be very, very clean. If it's not, that could be your problem. There's also two screens here. They're, they're stacked one on top of another, so make sure you, you remove them and, and clean them out as well. Uh, once again, mine are pretty good, uh, surprisingly, and make sure you put them back in the right direction. Um, because my bolts are so tight, I did tap them out, and when I put the bolts back in, I, I used a little bit of Loctite uh, just to keep them from coming loose because you don't want leaks. And as for uh, assembly, 
it's pretty much the reverse. Once you've got the suction throttle valve back on, uh, try and put a new O-ring on it if you can get one. Uh, it might be a bit hard to find. I actually reused mine and it was fine, but uh, that's that's not advice there. Um, put the tar back on where you can. It's a pretty good insulator uh, and it's pretty much the reverse. Just, just drop the evaporator back in. Make sure you reconnect the fluid drain hose or you might find you have some wet feet. Uh, try and get the, the tubes to go nicely back through the firewall and reattach to rubber and the, the, the two lines. New O-rings for them as well if you can um, and, and have it gassed up by a qualified technician or garage that can, uh, that can test it for you and um, hopefully it fixes your problem.